Welcome to Portugal, the oldest country in Europe with its origins all the way back to the 14th of June 1128. A country of fighters and explorers, its first king was Afonso Henriques, self-proclaimed after winning the Battle of Somamed, which took place in 1139. There he defeated the Spanish and his own mother. Afonso Henriques was a badass with no patience for bullies. He and his successors kept reclaiming the country's borders and kicked the Moors out, establishing the country's borders as we know them today. This policy of no bullying allowed remained in force throughout the ages against Moors, Celts, Romans and also Napoleon who was defeated five times and went home empty-handed. Throughout the next couple of centuries, Portugal kept developing trade and started to thrive. This period is known as the Age of Discoveries. Portugal kept expanding its influence to other countries and became a leading European power in terms of economic, political and cultural influence. Portugal ruled the vast empire from America, Africa, Middle East, all the way to Asia. Portuguese explorers kept bringing back physical goods, but also knowledge. You can see this from Portuguese examples of architecture, engineering, music and different types of food. Outstanding examples of Portuguese architecture include the Jerónimos Monastery in Lisbon, the Sé Cathedral of Lisbon, the Batalha Monastery, the Granite Tower of the Clerics in Porto and many many others. A Mediterranean country connected to the Atlantic Ocean, Portugal is mostly sunny throughout the year. Cascais and Algarve's beaches are a major destination. Wild caught fresh fish and lobster, 100% farm raised meat and organic produce food are available throughout the year. Typical Portuguese dishes include fresh lobster, caldo verde, Portuguese codfish, real sardines, bifanas, francesinha sandwich, chicken piripiri, lagareiro octopus, Iberian black pork cured ham, pastel de nata and queijadas de sintra. Portugal has 30 Michelin starred restaurants. Portugal has a population of 10 million, a GDP in current prices of 200.1 billion US dollars, a triple B credit rating, which is right at the cutoff, and an inflation rate of 90 basis points, according to the official statement from the Bank of Portugal as of 2021. Portugal's main source of revenue are textile, cork, construction, and tourism and related services. Portugal ranks fourth in the world for the safest countries to live in. Why? Because Portugal has a long history of doing transactions with different types of civilizations and it has a stable political climate. People are accustomed to deal with people from different cultures and are known for accepting and being welcomed to people that come here. You will find that most people speak English and will go out of their way to help you if you need directions. Minimum wage in Portugal is 700 euros per month and you can make an above than average living starting at 2000 per month. What does that get you? 1500 a month covers rent in a two bed to bath apartment in an area like Lisbon or Cascais which are prime areas and also it will pay you for all the food you need, utilities and other monthly expenses. Portugal is one of the major tech hubs for Europe. It is the birthplace of seven tech unicorns and a bunch of other very successful companies. Tech entrepreneurs find Portugal an attractive country as it presents lots of opportunities so they have been moving here. Also, lots of investment funds are very active in providing capital to young startups which makes this a very attractive environment. There are several incubators here where capital and experienced entrepreneurs help young startups to flourish as this is a win-win for all. Portugal has two Nobel Prize recipients, Antonio Egas Muniz, which was a medical doctor that won the Nobel Prize, and José Saramago, which was a Portuguese writer. Four Portuguese scientists were selected by the Howard Hughes Institute and there are over 4,412 postdoctoral scientists in more than 128 countries, including Canada and the US. Portugal is a European Union member state with the second best roads of all 28 countries, according to a report released earlier this week by the European Commission. Health system in Portugal is high quality and free. Portugal has around 200 hospitals and Portuguese medical doctor's reputation is known worldwide. Education in Portugal is high quality and cheap. Medical school's tuition costs about 5k a year. Law, finance, architecture and engineering cost between 600 to 2000 a year. Portuguese colleges consistently produce top scientists and have protocols with MIT, Harvard and other leading entities. For alumni, you also have the Harvard Club of Portugal here. At the time of writing this article, 
Portugal does not tax cryptocurrencies, which presents an enormous opportunity for crypto investors. In addition, you can also take advantage of what is called the non habitual residence tax regime, which grants favorable tax terms to their holders. For instance, the Portuguese personal income tax for nationals is a progressive tax rate from 14.5 to 48%. The more you earn, the more you get taxed. But if you are a non habitual resident tax holder, for 10 years you have a 20% flat tax rate. In addition, under certain circumstances, you gain exemptions from withholding tax and capital gains tax, especially from shares, dividends and other sources of income. One of Portugal's main sources of income is service related. The country has streamlined the process to improve efficiency for foreigners to obtain a visa. Most of the process can be done online, with the remaining key points done with a local representative. From 2012, more than 5.5 billion have been invested in Portugal and an enormous inflow of people have chosen Portugal as their main destination. Different people have different circumstances, so Portugal provides visas like the D2, D7 and the Golden Visa, all with the purpose to serve people to the best to their needs. Why a visa from Portugal? Because you can gain access to Europe and do whatever you want. Study, work and travel freely throughout without restrictions and keep the tax advantages from the non habitual resident tax status. You will benefit from a politically stable country, safe to live in, with low cost of living, high quality standards, rich in architecture, food and culture, good hospitals, quality education and with lots of investment opportunities across different asset classes from real estate to tax startups. In a nutshell, people are coming to Portugal because they gain access to a better quality of living with little cost. Can we count on you? Book your call today and get your process started.